Death Prophet just made too much sense. I th it's ideal. Like, Bloodseeker's cute. It's got cool matchups. Still doing it. Just pulling it over to this, this small camp. Yeah, he blew himself yeah. like three salves, which is kind of cool. So, like, now that you can't do the double stout, you obviously take way more damage. He's you, going double bracer. Yeah, I was about to ask. You like that instead like of like against gyro? Gets gyro, okay. et sand king. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much all their damage other than death prophet yeah. ultimate. Ooh, death prophet, my bad, is getting killed in the middle. Wow, they turn it around on moon barely because of misery. But look who's here, raging potato comes in for the kill. Kill on a weaver. Yeah, unless you get the nice stun by sand king. And well, there's gonna be a veil. Kezu, no boots, but he does have that veil. Will stun him under. There will be dust used. And it's see you later, ninja boogie. Fail before boot? Like, is that? I think because he hasn't left the lane, right? That's yes, true. He hasn't really. He's a diver either. too. A lot of physical damage. So. Yeah, that's it's pretty true. nice. We're here. Will the stomp hit? It will end. Up you get this kill on Axel. You're getting a lot of gold. Let's see what happens. He can't Bracers. get the call up, and there will be Bracer. The stun will get whipped by Moon. Oh my goodness, Misery gets flown. Guess who rotated bottom? It is going to be Matumba, man. KP is going to go down here. Who's getting the kill? It's VT Faded. That's going to be a lot of gold going his way. There will be another set of Rage Potatoes here as well, and we'll get that kill on Matumba, man. They're still chasing for Moon, though. There's a stun up. Ninja Boogie actually hits him with a salve for himself. Has a bottle now, so he has some charges. VT Faded is going to go down, and you said it. Nico, baby, he has a bottle as well, and they're all going to get their mana. Milan just going to go down. Here comes the roll. Whoa! Goes uphill. Rolling back around. Moon gets yeah. the kill, and Told you. that fight. Doing a good job of defending his own tier 1 tower yeah. safely, and with the Weaver Sakuchi, Radiant makes him very hard to kill. Very attack. elusive. We've seen two dust wasted yeah. just yeah. trying to kill him, so they're using gold, but Dude, middle Moon's lane. Just hitting yeah. mid tower. He's just yeah. taking yeah. it. Dead. Double damage free. Radiant that's like a pretty oh, me. Kezu actually goes down, and that's enemy the jungle. Instead, now it's you have... It's a Rubik Elder Titan. Exactly. Yeah. And here we go, bottom, Kezu. Do we have any detection? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's weird, because you have the Sand King doing exactly what E.T. could be doing. That's what we're talking about uh -oh. here. Middle lane, Misery is getting hit up by this ward. Yeah, Imagine if that's a Sand King, not an E.T. And that's a stolen ward, though. KP should go down yeah, here, Will. It's going to be a one-for-one. One. Ghost Squad, do you really want to TP in this? Yeah, you do. Do you have okay, enough Arcane. earth damage? Let's see. You sure as hell do. Instantly brought down Pango plus Arcane Lena. Two yes. exorcisms, two, two death six. prophets. Uh-oh. This is gonna be, look, at, look at that move speed, too. Get to try to steal. He steals Laguna, actually. Doesn't have Doesn't mana. Have the mana. Oh. And we'll just get brought down. Moon is is going insane right now. They're chasing for more. Will be VT Fate actually getting Ninja Boogie. Bounty room. Oh, so somebody, that's where the action No going Radiant to Hero is in top. They have a ward on the shrine. Play but, around it. Play around your vision. Here we go. They get the blink call, and this is looking to be a kill. Kezu is in a little bit of trouble. Misery is here to help save, and oh, Nico Baby may be in trouble. And they'll just both back out. He's going to fuse on Weaver, so this is kind of a throwback build. Uh oh, give me the battle longer. They actually get a lift. KP could be in a little bit of trouble. Hasn't used his call yet. There's gonna be a roll through by Raging Potato. Misery, maybe the first one to die. Moon, another Laguna Blade, because that Arcane Rune. See you later, VT Faded. Gyro. Oh, ho, ho, ho! And call, and this is about to be a wipe. There goes another, yeah. and it is. It's a five for zero wipe. That's a good bloke, too. Forced to do a lot of the interviews for his old oh, team. Yeah, they're going to the center the top lane. They're uh, going on the Lena. See. Will they be able to find Moon? Moon still has the Yules up. Doesn't want to use it quite yet. There's going to be Ninja. We get the stump bouncing between them. Are they melding? Moon actually the dodges every kills. single spell. And here come the bugs. Nico Baby is up here, and they're going to get a Laguna. VT beta drop. Kezu's in a lot of trouble. Is he just dead to Maldic? Sure as hell is. Misery trying to run, and KP chasing after him. Maneski feels like they're just running the entire game down right now. When you struggle that hard to kill uh, Alina, that KB, is... naming the game right now feels like it's pace, it's tempo, it's speed, and Mineski, people, uh, I'd say this so far, surprise of the tournament, it's really just because of how fast Honestly, they've been yeah. playing. Look at this, KP is in a little bit of trouble, maybe. Yules into the air, try to get slowed down. Still have the ulti, my bad. Moon actually kills Milan. Seems there's man. two what? fights going on. But tell man might just die here. He is. He's gone. Dude, this game's in the books. It's not looking good. Pushing in bottom lane, going for the Desolator. I like that. That's fascinating. Look at the warding. Look at the vision game from Vineski. Here we go. They actually find one. It will be the call. Oh, pardon me. There's the shot. And oh, no. Raging Potato. Actually, he doesn't realize. You can run to the shop. He won't stun BT Fade before the BKB comes out. He is just doing a lot of damage spread out everywhere. But he will get the kill on KP. The flat can actually hits him from afar. There will be a stun. They find Moon. Moon is level 15. BKB is getting a pop. Laguna. Easy kill on the Kezu. There goes Milan as well. One more. No. Gets his own heals up. Moon is a little bit low. But they get the kill. Castle Tell Man does get a double kill. He is Spirit Vessel. So Moon needs to run out of there and will. A lot of move speed, but Raging Potato still here has a spear vessel. They throw it out. Look at that damage. There's going to be a rocket. Matumba Man, he wants to get the kill before he dies. Won't happen. 
The potato is doing work. Oh, He's like, I'm coming for this kill. Nico baby gets it. Dude. And that didn't look like the worst fight for chaos. It's like MB or Daedalus or something. Yeah. Like just a pure damage item. Yeah. I, I never have an issue in a winning game with just buying more damage. Like, I'd be fine with Shiva's too. Dude, look at this tier. That's a tier two tower at 20, 30 minutes getting absolutely shredded. Yep. And now it's just... Sorry, I miss Kezu. He is. Whoa, just, whoa. So now that you have the BKB, it enables the blade mail to literally just kill anybody on Chaos. And they're going to look for ET, which they do fine. He's just going to die. So much damage. Four Nico, bounty maybe. Probably. Yeah, Unless that's Prophet Snipes one. You, you can see. Um, it's like this baseball concept of uh, like when the ball when the ball hits the bat like what's your first step right? And I love watching KP get that find that kill they kill Kazu again he gets the kill hesitates for like that how well they played. So we're looking at chaos. What's what's their way back into this game right? There's it's gonna be tough right? You just gotta hit your ultis and I don't know look at Moon shred this tower with the death. I like the death man. I like it. He hasn't even queued anything else up yet. 3.6k dodges the rockets. There will be an ulti coming. They're getting a call on the backside, though. There will be a Yules onto that axe coming out. Will they be able to get back? Kezu throws out his ulti. He's actually doing a ton of damage to the Aegis. Has the BKB, has the Aegis. Will just pop the Aegis. Ninja Boogie in the back getting flat cannon. There's the dunk. Here comes Moon alive again. And this is scary. Has the BKB as well. There's going to be Nico Baby actually going down on this Weaver. And uh oh, will he get the BKB out? He sure does. Moon now just sieging everyone down from afar. Misery won't actually die. Battle Hunger is on him. Maybe he'll die on his way to the fountain. There goes Milan. And he does. Misery actually dies to the Battle Hunger before he makes it. There's going to be another stun. There goes Matumba, man. Raging Potato possibly going down here. Doesn't get any of the damage reduction. Doesn't have a swash buckle. Milan picks it up. Will they chase for more? I don't. They're just running uphill. Look at Moon. They do not expect anyone to be here. Milan's actually going to be the first one who gets scouted out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is everyone else going to be here? He's going to throw a stun. Nice job, Milan. But KP, he blinks in. There will be a stun. KP just sitting on two of them. Moon is a little bit of trouble. Matumba man will finally pop the ulti. Oh. Moon in a lot of trouble. Has the Yule. Will finally pop it. There's going to be the Elder Tyne ulti. Nico baby trying to kill Matumba man in the backside. There goes Moon. It's a lot of gold. And they will finally get the kill on Ninja Boogie. Nico Baby will ult out. Kezu, he is here. Won't be able to find anyone, but looks like they are going to be on the run. There's KP again. He gets it. Matumba Man goes down. BT faded. He does have the Spirit Vessel, but they get the kill on KP. Nico Baby already used his ulti. He might go down here. Oh, what's up, Rune? Picks it up. Will be able to bottle. Get a little bit of damage. Or a little bit of life, pardon me. The Rocket's still following. And they should be able to get this kill. Rocket, as you said, still hits on Invis now, or he does. Yeah, he used to not, but yeah. he was so close to getting a three-man like... Satanic Luna game. Lena. Lena, yeah. Thanks, it's, just, it's just one ladder. It happens. No, no, no. We've been there. There's going to be the axe call. Does have the blade. No, it's not doing that much to a DP, but get thrown BKB up. Doesn't want to pop the old team quite yet. Bug's still eating her alive. That's a lot of minus armor. Duels won't take it up. On the backside, there will be a stun. But it won't be enough. But Tumba Man is just going to get right click down. Milan rolling around like a cube. KP will make it out. And Kezu's ultimate won't really hit onto anyone. Nico Baby is getting perma stun. Will he be able to get the ulti up? Will. Gets half the HP back. There goes Kezu. Misery as well. It's going to be a four for zero trade and a buyback from the gyro. It's got roll. We have the level 25. He is on Weaver. And yep, the Takuchi movement. Normal. There's gonna be ulti. They do want to try to get a jump, and that is a lot of damage coming out on this team. Does have the Aegis, obviously. This time, there's gonna be the call. Two of them are out of position. The play mail is gonna be here. Comes the lead. Needs to get that BKB immediately. And will. There's gonna be a stun flying out. Misery should be the next one to die. Will. Has to instantly buy back. Oh my goodness. Rubik is getting held in alive. Will go down. Here comes the ulti from Kezu. The Lena is in a little bit of trouble. Has the Yule still. Will it happen? Nico Baby turns it in. Moves just right clicking from afar with this attack range. Have really one ball yesterday. Yeah. Still no sense of rack actually down yet. Yeah, it looks no like they feel now. Axe when they have no beacon. I know like call goes can be called. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It, it, it makes the Lena. It, if there's no big give is active on the other side, the Lena just has simple follow up as well. There's gonna be an ulti, there's gonna be a buyback from the Tumble Man now. No ulti, unfortunately. Power, just riding it, and they, they're just gonna back up for now. Did you? Oh yeah, yeah. I remember what I played it? against the uh, like whatever name they were, Team Freedom. I think at the time with CC and Snake, and all yeah. that. We were down by forty thousand gold yep. and beat them. Yeah. That's a good feeling, right? Yeah, it was a good feeling. That's back when Radiance Life Stealer. Was. 
Just gonna die here. See you later. Whoa! Dodging launch, but the battle hunger and spirit vessel will be enough. It is KP who gets it. And they're just heading down bottom. This game is looking to be in the book. Back for the tower. They don't have creeps in yet. Middle is it now. They are gonna go for Moon, but Moon just pops BKB and Matum Man. I don't think you win this. Man, right there. Gonna try to run away. There will be BT faded going on the back. Matum Man as well. GG does get called. Mega kill for Nico, Baby, and Moon. And well, we're not seeing any more kills because they're all dead with no buybacks. And Weaver's gonna end the game with a Dagon too, just you know, for the fun of it. Why not? Why not? Let's buy it up and. He used to, I mean, Moon was a big, he was a big Yules guy, but I have no clue, obviously. I, it depends on the game, you, right? You definitely want a faster BK. Not efficient, lost uh, their place, because all of a sudden, you didn't necessarily need that soul ring, right? Because you have three clarities yeah. in your backpack, and it's changed what some, their power level dramatically shifts. It's like, why, why, you know, TM fell off for a while, because... You don't need the aura, right? You've got clarity. But... And looks like this ogre is going a little bit different as well. Well, there's going to be the arrow flying. Matumman is in a little bit of trouble right now. Does have the rage, but I don't even know if that'll do anything. He's going to get right click down this ogre. To this hero, we have seen it a lot. And you just, you can't trade hits with this hero anymore. It's just too strong. Look at this, 10 armor with the Bassy. 63 base damage. Doesn't even have the orb. Only because you can't trade hits, but like you have an AA support. You have. Or that's I'd rather a, a casual ring of protection. Yeah, uh, like I'd rather have a, a uh, all the items I'm buying in this lane are how can I minimize how much damage I take while I'm hitting creep. That's pretty much what I'm trying to do. Like you, you can trade hits with the ogre like you're doing, like he is doing a bit, but you're not doing it with the intent of bullying the ogre. You're just making him have to expend a bit of regen because if you don't hit him back, he'll just. Yeah. And there was a ward middle, so he knows that Rage Potato is here, has the rune, and just sitting around. We'll avoid the gank. Kezu, level four. Has raindrops on the Sand King. We'll continue to just cut the wave. Oh, top lane. KP, they actually do bring him down. Oh, yep, that's the perfect item. It's great on the line stealer in the safe lane because you do have that chasing power if you do kill that off. Yeah, no. honestly, they have worked out. So I'm. The man's a TI winner. There's going to be the runes. Oh, actually get a leap back up. There's going to be the double star storm. It is only level one, but there's the leap. Wants to shoot the arrow. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Fakes it out three times. Oh, I love it. There's no angle, it felt like. Well, you could really get away from that misery. But it does have level three in that feast. Sun off here. Raging Potato is waiting with the arrow. There it is. Will it hit in time? It sure as hell does. And there it goes. Raging Potato picks up that kill. And you said, I mean, it's it. Crazy going on. The thing is, a Slark eventually becomes a pen in this lane. Like, there's certain matchups where if you're against, like, an Axe or a Legion, you're kind of, like, always under threat as Slark. But once you hit six, like, you are independent at that point. It just makes it easier for the rest of your team to play. Well, I, tell. I don't think you're making out of here, Raging Potato. One more right click. It will be Matumma. And that's a that's a 1v2 kill. Misery wasn't even up there. That Orb of Venom, man. Kyle like these little tweak. You know? The little quality of life chain. Just make a big difference gives that hero the option to actually get the one uh -oh. strong. Sorry, VT Fate actually goes down middle. I was looking top there getting up again. We actually have a lift. They're, they're chasing. Arrow will fly, but won't hit. Moon's going to TP top. They want to fight for this rune possibly instead. Now Atome Man right clicking. There's going to be the stun. There's going to be a double raise. It's just going to right click. Now Rune will get scooped up. Matome Man, two nuke. more attacks. will just throw Beautiful. up the nuke. Gets the kill. That was a sick TP. That like he just shows vaunting this awkward smoke from Chaos. That feels so forced yep. because they Warlock just Golem active TP'd. as well. Oh, and will they find it? Ninja Boogie will be the one who gets stunned. Will they try to burst him down? Here comes the A flat. And it won't actually end on anyone, but Ninja Boogie will go down. That's a tower for 4K. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. He was waiting. Yeah, I mean, Easy he was... to still try to chase, because look who's here. It's actually KP out of the woodwork. There's going to be the multicast. There's going to be the double star storm. And will we get the permanent agility? Does get inside of a creep. They know which one, because he's trying to run it away. It still won't get brought down. Now it will. And, and, and why is this happening, BSJ? Because he TP. Reaction from Chaos. Instant Chaos response to top. Moon goes bottom. Yep. Then Chaos has to like yeah. chase him all the way to bottom, and then they kill top. And not just that. As Chaos has to run across the map, 
Moon's farming. Yeah, exactly. Yo, wait up. Here we go. Moon could be in a little bit of trouble there. Gonna try to run after. He will get slow enough. He's dancing. Will do it. He is dancing. This could be a kill. Does he want to throw out the ulti to try to get this? There's a bloodless. Is he gonna throw out his ulti? He's oh. on. Will bring down Moon, but it does do a lot of damage. KP's gonna be in a little bit of trouble. They're just gonna chase forward and look at this. They're gonna find two of the core kills. It looks like BT okay. faded. I... Could he be in trouble? And this feels like a wasted rock by Ninja Boogie. He's really biting him in the in the butt right now. I'd say the Moon. Dude, I, I think, okay, so I'm pretty sure VT... I as a mid laner, it's like the rest of your team has to make sure they adjust to the fact that their mid laner's dead. Otherwise, they're just going to feed. Up arrow bottom, he hits a five second. And Milan. Bye. Six snipe, by the way. He doesn't have like any vision. He just saw the Rubik leaving the creep. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Maybe. You cast it, and oh, then... Oh, does it really? Yeah, so when you throw the AA ult, it goes, it, like, it starts oh. ticking. But if you use it to cast it, it'll... Here we go, on the backside. Oh, my goodness, that's a perfect stun coming out from Kezu. Oh, he's the beginning. Will he get in there? Will be Kezu goes down, Moon goes down, and now VT faded. They find KP. Can they continue to chase for more? Obviously, Slark's a tough kill, but guess what? This is a buyback from Ninja Boogie. Will they be able to snipe him? Not quite yet. There will be an inhibit going out. Matumba Man will have to pop the Rage. He's going to throw his ulti out on this Slark. Ninja Boogie will get his ulti off, but he's going to go down again. That's a dieback. And now Nico. Oh, we got the lift on it. Got him. And Milan, nicely done by him. They're going to get this kill. And Kezu with the blink stun. It becomes impossible for some. It actually just, they have no saves. Oh, here we go. They're going for Nico, baby. Up here, we're looking for the fun too. And as you guys said, Kezu, he took it. Oh, Slark to stay on targets. Arrow. Ooh, they have to know. They got to get out that scan by the rating. They can't miss her. Whoa, he gets solo ulted again. That's a lot of hate. That is. That is five here. Yep. Chaos Rock, did retreat to their own high ground here. They were previously on the other high ground. Good vision supplied by Nico, baby. There goes. There's gonna be a stun. Will Moon be able to get his BKB up? There's gonna be a lift. There's gonna be a rock coming up from Ninja. There's the BKB for Moon, and he's Arrow. just gonna start chunking him. Yep, they find the life steal as well. One more right click, it will be enough. Kezu, he needs to get out of here, can he? He does. I mean, you just want it on the OD, and then anyone else, probably life a bonus, a life stealer, yeah. yeah. That is funny, though. I've never seen a Halberta Ogre, so I'm not sure if he can multicast. Bottom lane does Warlock, find yeah. the Warlock underneath his own tower. Has no Golem, so it's like a kill, but to be honest, that hero, like, there's a reason why he's the one farming there, and no one is very crazy at all. Like, you give it to your teammates, too, right, in fights? Like, you're unkillable both. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's a problem, though. Fine. That was sick. BT faded. He was in this. He faded. Um, he baited the... Like, oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, cool. most, people, cool. most people take the dark pack damage nowadays. Yeah, okay. yeah it just makes it so you take one hit plus all of your dark pack to kill a creep wave. Whoa, we are going to see a big uh, yeah. fight. It actually is well, going to be an OD ulti going down. We'll kill that. Milan backside does kill Ninja Boogie. Will they be able to find Moon? Moon does have a BKB. Butterfly as well. Will he just turn around to fight? Kazu stuns in, and Moon's going to TP. See you later, KP. Yep. Uh, it, it looks like Maneski's getting a little sloppy, but in Shiva's that if he, I mean, Shiva's is so good against Slark SF, and it's another 25 in towards your ultimate. Oh, we've got some going on right here. The arrows get a hit, but it is a dark pack. Kezu will stun, won't hit, and now there's going to be the ulti from here. Arrow? Boogie will go in. And Boogie does end up going down. There goes Kezu as well. It is a one for one. The ogre is still dead, so it's a three v four fight. There's going to be the rock. It's regening. dropped by Milan, and yeah, Nico Baby finally gets away, and this is going to be the end. Looks like it. Milan does steal. He he will get one more. Not to Touché. call anybody in. <laughs> uh, Excuse me. Uh, did you say something, Kyle? No. Okay. Oh, Blink initiation. Catch. It is. Where? Grant. Where? Where? Got, nice, got him. Nice, Ninja Boogie goes nice. down. So that's why I meant like, yeah, you're gonna gank him, but if he's just casually feeding on the map, that doesn't exactly bode well. And there's chaos. He's gonna blink forty. Actually, sees it. Oh, 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 oh. VT fade is kill the arrow. So will they be able to kill me? Yeah, Moon's doing a lot of damage. There will be the ult. Won't hit on anyone actually. And, but then heck, this dark pacting the hex and still dying. And they want to fight. They really want to fight. There's gonna be there. They actually saw him. He didn't see him on the other side. They're just gonna turn around. Matella man's inside of him. Whoa! What are you doing there? I'm gonna kill it. Milan KP gets some ulti cast, and now they're running forward. That will be a TP out. They're gonna find Kezu though. Moon. There's gonna be a raise. There's gonna be two right clicks. Kezu's still alive though. Has a blink up. Good for you. They're taking out a splinter from yourself.
Oh. It's not fun. It's KP is like the map. Oh, oh they uh, will find one. That's going to be an arrow. Much tougher, man. Oh, no. It will be a save from a VT faded. And the Life Stir will have Rage pops in immediately. There's going to be a Warlock Rock dropping down. Now they're just right clicking Matoma. There will be an A Blast flying over Matoma. Man, there's going to be the drop. Now VT faded. He's just unleashing on him. Moon with that Scott. He's trying to do it. But Kezu, he saves the stun. Moon's BKB. No, oh, there wow. But there it is. And Matoma, man, he's going to get right click down. Nico, baby, has so much agility right now. 11 plus that 6. Oh, the right clicks. 25% extra to yeah. be exact. You and then you have the Bloodthorn queued up on SF. Yeah. Could be an issue. Oh, there's going to be a stun board. They're going to look for Moon right now. There's going to be the Sheep, and we talked about it. VT faded. We'll just end up blowing Shadow in and out. Ninja Boogie to try to go away. Will they be able to find him? Nico Bay pops his BKB. Yeah, just right it. click after right click. VT faded actually gets the kill on Ninja Boogie running away. But VT faded. Oh, my goodness. The agility. Somebody stop him. He. So agile right now. And now he's bloodlusted. Could look for another. Oh. Kezu hits him with the right click. Blinks away. That's he's dialing. I don't know if he meant to. Oh. <laughs> We got a, a pretty late Yasha and Kai right here, actually, from the OD. But a lot of extra damage. I would have liked the Shiva's. Oh, there's going to be a kill. Uh, Nico, baby, double the double damage. Has to buy back. Is he letting the ulti oh. rip right now? No, he's saving right on the high ground. It. Here we go, Kezu. He's got the life stealer ahead of him. VT faded. Oh, no, the link is. There's going to be the rock drop. They're all just sitting inside of their VT fade. He's just going to go down. Here comes the A blast, but it won't do anything. Kezu's going to try to get out of here, and will he? Looks like he might, but Matoma Man does get stunned. He will be able to hide for both his OD and yeah. his life stealer. Oh. Once his OD's alive. And wait, what's that buff? Do you see that on Milan? Uh, I'm watching this fight right now, and it looks like Kezu, he might have been a little too aggressive. They wanted to maybe surprise him. Arrow's actually going to kill. Kezu has to buy back. Raging the potato. This, this man is just making oh, yeah. so much. That's his moon attacking right now. Every point for one seconds. There's going to be another arrows. Just so scary. You never know. One just hits on, on one person. It's all it takes. And they're going to be moved forward. They will get the stun, but the four staff out. And now there will be a glare cape. Nico, baby, instantly pops his BKB. There's going to be the Sheep multi-cast. And down goes the Sand King first. They throw the Fatal Bonds and the Rock. Doesn't look like they'll get many more heroes, but they will get a full set of racks. And arrows, they avoid them. But there's a blink board in misery. Will get saved for now, and uh-oh, there's going to be the Bloodthorn actually going out on life. They're going to be taking so much damage. Misery is still alive. VT Faded gets bashed by Nico, baby, and the agility is just stacking up right now. This is starting to not look very good for Chaos. So they're their way. And look at this. There's going to be a Sheep. Will they just be able to kill him out of it? He just fought back, and he just died. There's going to be an Abyssal Blade, and oh my goodness, Matumba, man, he's going to go down as well. He is just getting right slick time after time again. GG is going to get called. We have buyback. Doesn't look like anyone will get a Rampage Moon. Oh my goodness, he almost goes down, but the GG's have been called, and Maneski, they 2-0 it, but it was a, a little bit scary there for about 10 to 15 minutes from Chaos. They, they